Now today I have an enormous beetle. So dynastids or rhinoceros beetles um, are some of the largest beetles in the entire world. Give him a nice little kiss for all of his hard work. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today I have an enormous beetle. This right here is Megasoma Janus Ramirusarum, and it is a species of elephant beetle. Take a look, you can see obviously where they get that name, elephant, they are both large, and they have this beautiful nasal horn. Now this beetle is incredibly fresh. He just emerged from his pupa, as you can see by this kind of reddish color that's still remnant on his elytra. But he is just starting to wake up, just starting to get active because he believes he is on a mission. A mission to find a female, to mate, and then to die only a few short months after emerging from his pupa. Take a look at this beetle. Now, naturally, these beetles are native to Central and South America. This one being native to South America. Look at these beautiful thoraxial horns. Now, once again, just like the stag beetle that we were talking about a few weeks ago, this beetle is a male. And he has these horns to spar with other males so that he can gain the right to mate. What a cool beetle, look at that. Long arms, perfect for climbing branches in search of fruits and saps. Come take a look at these antenna, guys. Right up by the mouth, you see these antenna that just kind of dangle. Those kind of clubs at the end. Now this is the perfect dynastid antenna shape. So dynastids or rhinoceros beetles um, are some of the largest beetles in the entire world. Elephant beetles are a member of this group. Not only dynastidae, but dynastinae, which are the true rhinoceros beetles. Look at that and look at these sharp mouthpieces here. Look at all these sharp spikes and ridges. This is for slicing into fruits and tree bark in order to expose that delicious saps and juices. Take a look, oh, take a look at the size of this beetle. <laughs> is he not freaking huge? Now this belongs to a friend of mine and this is actually the smallest male to emerge so far. The rest of this one's little squadron are still in juvenile stages, still in pupae or larva. Look at the size of this beetle. Is this not crazy? Now this beetle has been a larva for the past four years and will only live as an adult for about four months. Seems kind of crazy, right? But because they go through complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, adult, these beetles spend the vast majority of their time as juveniles. As adults, their only job really is to breed, to carry on their genes. So they don't live for very long. They just wake up, they do the nasty, and then they get eaten by something or they die of old age. Now this beetle can fly. Uh, these elytra, these wing coverings open up and the wings come out to about here and it sounds like real loud, kind of like a tiny helicopter and they can fly. Typically they're active mostly at night. So they fly out at night to look for mates and they navigate with stars and the moon. So that's oftentimes why you see large beetles and even small ones um, piled up around street lamps and porch lights and things like that because they're normally using light to navigate and so our artificial light can disorient and confuse these beetles. 
What a cool little beetle here. <laughs> he doesn't like that, doesn't like for me to poke him. Look at those spines all on the legs. Isn't that crazy? These nice tarsi here, see those big long claws that he's got at the end of his feet? Look at that. Huge, sharp claws that allow them to grip onto bark, onto trees as they climb. Really, really interesting beetles. Always a pleasure to work with beetles. They're so cool. Probably one of my favorite groups of insects for sure. Wow, this thing is so big. Really, really cool. Well, I think that's all we've got time for today. This little guy's been out long enough. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, check out our new merch. This is one of our new uh, zip-up jackets um, from our uh, spring store. So you can see that in the comments below. It shows you a bunch of my merchandise options. We're gonna have a lot more new designs coming out this year. Uh, in terms of merch, so you don't want to miss any of those cool new developments. But we had a really fun time filming with this absolutely massive beetle. Thank you so much, buddy. Give him a nice little kiss for all of his hard work, and we will let him get back to hanging out, some damp substrate, and chewing on some banana. A really, really cool, beautiful elephant beetle. Thank you guys for watching.